Okay, as you may or may not know, the big news here in Southern Africa, of course, is um, the situation in uh, uh, the mighty Zim, Zimbabwe. Um, but look, I'll tell you what, I'm going to tell you, and, and, uh, now the internet is, you know, people say whatever they want to say, okay, so I'm going to tell you something that's whatever I want to say, but first let me give you a little, you know, the real facts, as you guys, I'm at, as you may or not know, you know, uh, Zimbabwe had been under the rule of uh, Rob Mugabe, who wasn't actually elected. He was sort of selected by England. Won't get into all that stuff. Like that. He's also not really Zimbabwean, you know, well, he's half Zimbabwean. His father's from Malawi, but we won't get into that. Um, everything was going well with the revolution, and uh, they talked to anybody. They talked about um, uh, Rob Mugabe uh, pre-1980. Talk about after 1980, things get a little shaky. People don't really talk a lot about that. Talk about revolutionary people. Like I talked to Kenneth Kuhnda one time. You know, this. Anyway, it doesn't. Yeah. But let's get to, to the facts of it. As you know, uh, 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 um, um, Sally, um, uh, Robin Mugabe's first wife, she's, as she was dying of cancer, uh, Robin Mugabe was messing around with the secretarial pool of whatever was happening at the time. And part of the secretarial pool was a, was a, um, South African woman, uh, that's called her grace. It was grace. And uh, now, uh, I've been talking to a lot of Zimbabwean students, a lot of Zimbabwean students here in the University of Fort here, and uh, there's some very interesting things. But let's just get rid of grace for now. Get rid of, let's talk about grace real quick. Here's my, I'm going to, well, here's my take on, on grace. Uh, how, how can we be delicate about this? Oof, 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 oof. Let, let me put it this way. <clears throat> I gotta be male about this, okay? Let me be male about this. Um, you know, everybody talks about Prince Charles because uh, Ramagami really is, is into England, you know, this way he got betrayed in England and he really feels whatever, okay? Part of the things with Prince Charles is that, you know, they're under the, the well, all the members of the royal family have to serve in the military, whatever have you. Well, and they're in a bubble until they get into the military, then they sort of end, and they get, okay, great. So, and Charles, one time he was in, he was in the military, this is a long time ago, and you know, Charles liked to dance. And he was out dancing, and he met Camilla Bowles on the dance floor. And is my conjecture, no proof, this is the internet, remember, um, that basically he got, um, how do you say it? Uh, uh, punani whipped. How to say punani whipped? Uh, and so she was. Uh, he was under the spell for a long time. He went and got married to Diana. Uh, she 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 passed. And of course, he married the love of his life, the one he was, who punani whipped him. Okay, great. I just put that as an aside. Now, it's my conjecture. Think about it. You, you, your wife is dying in the hospital of cancer. You have all these secretarial pool young secretaries. You know, uh, like thirty years on, younger than you, or whatever it is. And uh, and then all of a sudden, or, or I guess in his case, 40 years younger than him. Anyway, um, in any case, he, he, this young woman, um, uh, uh, Grace, uh, I think she put nanny whipped him. Just my opinion, okay? Those are the sides. Now let's get to, now go to another side at the end. Now, um, uh, so what happens is, uh, Grace is doing a thing up until like 2014. She's just the first lady, right? She's first lady known for shopping. In fact, they call her Gucci Grace or something like that. Gucci bags, right? Because she's that's not a shopper. Then 2014, she gets this brilliant idea. She wants to be political. So from 2014 to now, she's in part of the party. She's headed the women's auxiliary of the party, whatever it is. And, um, and that's her entry into politics, right? I'm not going to say she was egged on by somebody else. We'll get to all that stuff. I want to catch the chase here. Now, so now you have this situation where somebody pushed a little button and they pushed it a little harder and uh, some rumors were spread, you know, the office politics, if you want to call it like that. And so the vice president, I'm not mentioning anybody's name, but the vice president, uh, they oust him. Uh, that he happened to be alive with the military. Uh, Rob Mugabe and his people are alive with some of the military, but a lot of the police force. And so uh, one of these, um, uh, the, the vice president that got ousted, he was, uh, uh, well, before he got ousted, uh, you know, he had ties with the military, let's put it that way. Now, military leader, active military leader, um, is a cat that he was in some place in China, something like that, when all this was going, when all this was going down, he got word from the military that they was going to 
you know, arrest him when he got back because he's going to say a coup being party. Okay, so he comes back, but he, of course, his boys, they, they dress up and whatever have you. And when the police try to arrest him, with his boys, you know, the military, they come and get him out of there. Okay, so the military guy, so whatever is still around, the uh, vice president gets kicked out of the country. It's not one comes at the same time. Um, and then, uh, you know, uh, everybody's saying, oh man, Grace is going to now be, Gu Gucci Grace is now going to be uh, in line to be president, right? Well, so one thing happens after another, and then before you know it, the military says, hey, we got to make a little, I love to enter, but what's this? It's like a, a correction, okay? So they, they, they run a correction, not a coup, it's a correction. In other words, what happens, they put uh, the Mugabe family under arrest, and my family, but the two sons, uh, Grace and, and Robert, are all under house arrest or whatever have you. Not quite a coup, because a coup, uh, let's put it this way, when, um, when Hillary Clinton and then the United States want to pull a coup up in Doris, Honduras right there, they didn't call it a coup. Because they call the coup that certain things be put into place internationally and in according to laws of different countries. So they couldn't call it a coup. So they just did what they did and it the military still runs it. Now in Southern Africa it's a little different because you have this whole thing with struggle credentials and all the rest of that stuff. Now, let me just put another faction. You have the Grace faction, right? Then you have the, the you have the military, right? And and under the Grace faction, there's these, like a lot of cats under 40, there's a group of um, G40, under 40, something like that. Uh, the people, then, you have the, then you have another group, the veterans, okay? The veterans, not in government, they like advisors, okay? You have the same thing in South Africa. In fact, did you know, as a matter of fact, since I'm a veteran in the United States, I can actually, I'm here, I can actually join the veterans group in South Africa as a veteran because they accept all veterans worldwide. That's what they told me. I haven't explored I haven't explored it yet. I'm not interested, but that's I just want to tell you. Veteran is a veteran. Okay. So now here's what happens. So uh, so then uh, what happens is the, the veteran goes, hey, look, we gotta do something about this because Grace is causing all kinds of problems. So she's gonna be the president, we have the same stuff that we're having, da 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 all the sanctions, all the rest of that stuff. Because things didn't go wrong and stuff in Zimbabwe until they had like the usual thing sanctions. So we won't get into what Barack McCarthy is and all the rest of that stuff. But, so that's what happens, the country's in disarray, people are dissatisfied, they just want the agony to stop this, it always happens, you know. So, uh, so they pull this thing that's a correction, not a coup, cool, a correction, okay? And what they are hoping for is for basically Robert Mugabe to say, look, I see what's going on, no problem, we'll just, I'll just go peaceably, you know, 93, I'll go peaceably, you know, whatever have you. But he's going like, nah, he an old man, he's a veteran, he's going like, no, nah, I ain't going no place. Because if they pull a coup, you see, then all kinds of things open up. You know, let's go to the dreaded CIA. All kinds of other things happen if you have a coup. And then the military has to take over. And then you have to, and this is a whole process. If he just steps down, then perhaps he, some, some other stuff can happen politically. Okay. You can get into a whole story about Zimbabwe. Go, there's a lot of articles in the people, very informative people. You can find out for yourself. But here's my little take, okay? You know how you have a definition, like ancient definition, you have a cool, you have a correction, you have, you have different, different definitions. I say about the fourth thing down the list, okay, the fifth thing down the list is this. I think the veterans are sitting around, everybody's over 4, 50, you know, whatever it is, or 60, whatever it is, and they say, wait a second, you know, comrade, you know, Mugabe is going to be leaving. He wants his wife to take over. She has no political whatever her source, she does a shop. Then she got the two wild sons who's doing the, the hip hop thing or whatever they do, they they you know, they buy in Ferrari, you know, they they're trash in hotel rooms in South Africa. They're they're like spoiled kids, you know. So if this happens, then what's gonna happen is Grace is gonna take over, then you're gonna still have these kids in embarrassing us. We don't know what's gonna happen. Da 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 da. I think part of this trigger, one of the things like the 50 down line. This is my own personal opinion. This is all I'm going to say on this matter because, like I said, all the facts are the facts or the facts as you can know them are out there. Here's my thing. I think that what happened was these older gentlemen were saying, we ain't going to have these young whippersnappers keep on running around like they're, they're some Saudi princes or something like that, doing what they do with some, some American hip hoppers and doing what they do. And we ain't just going for that. So this thing has got to stop, right? They, they, so they do whatever they do with Grace, they do whatever they do with the kids. Uncle Bob is still, you know, or Rob Mugabe is still President Rob Mugabe. So it's a mess. But nobody can do anything. 
But I will tell you one thing, they are not going to let Grace and the kids take over Zimbabwe. That is a fact. And the reason is because they don't want the kids. Yes, something I'm saying. I'm being me. T from the palace is taking the train to Tibet. Letting you know what I only suspect.